What is up DTube Steam blockchain? So today I want to do a video talking a little bit about digital store of value. <laughs> so I talked about it a little bit in the past. I done some new videos on it because well you can go you can go and see those videos. Uh, but it's very interesting in this space because you there's always something new happening every couple of months or so that sort of makes you be able to expand your borders of ignorance even further especially if you seek towards more truthful stuff and you try to identify who is more intelligent and what makes more sense what kind of project sounds like the most genius thing and what's going to be around and uh, yeah, so I've been in this cryptocurrency industry space like full time, like studying it for for two years, and um, and it, and it's kind of interesting because two years that's not a lot of time. I knew Bitcoin already two thousand thirteen, but I did not like investigate it or like look at it from this more global view. I did not have uh, the awareness of how finance, how important it was and sort of how it connected it to, to everything else. But now when when you sort of get into this Steam ecosystem, you sort of start to rethink a lot of things because it sort of is like a paradigm shift in, in the way you're looking at life, looking at the world, looking at everything. So it's interesting some new data for example that i got a couple of months ago uh, this fascinating concept that i never heard anyone else explain to me and that was this concept of that bitcoin that it has a fake security theater where they're paying miners basically 10 million dollars per day around that when i did the calculations lately and that's around 3.6 billion dollars to just have security theater so they're paying miners not holders 3.6 billion dollars per year as a protection racket because the only ones that can, the only other people that can attack the network i mean it's only themselves because they have the asic mining hardware that is needed to like perform an attack against the network so uh, you sort of start to consider this like is this really that smart to pay miners then 3.6 billion dollars and they, they are not even paying the developers, like uh, the developers of Bitcoin, they are not the miners. So that's like kind of fascinating. And then you kind of consider it, but okay, the holders of Bitcoin, they must get some of this like new inflation coming in. No, it's it just goes to the miners. Uh, so that was kind of interesting, like that you can get these new data points from some people that are more insiders and have perceived things more and they're just people that use more intelligence so it's, it's very fascinating when you seek for truth sometimes you hear these interesting things where you, some people used a more woke like they are more aware of how things are actually working and, and then you start to consider that that concept really that well yes then it actually makes it, it sounds like it actually should work if you paid just to holders and um, if you piggyback on another network uh, like Ethereum uh, to, for, for, the, um, for the mining network running in the background, but the, the token itself, you don't have to pay the miners that token. Uh, the inflation can all go to the holders that are basically holding up the value. Like if you hear, look here at that and, and consider it, it sounds very sensible. And I haven't heard anyone be able to say something that's more intelligent than that. Like, no, that that's a bad idea. It's, it's a bad idea to pay holders to holding up the price. It seems like everyone is sort of agreeing with that. That is like, well, it, it should. It sounds like it actually would be a, a superior sort of currency, especially if you go to if you consider the store of value aspect well then you wouldn't really have any miners to sort of dump the value all the time to because they have to pay for electricity it's like it sounds like it's it's it's, it's just sounds smarter right so 
it's really really fascinating when you when you start to consider the game theory that would involve having the best token used as a store of value if you really consider it there is it seems like it should be relatively easy to produce that because you only have to you, you should be able to be able to simplify it quite much where you're not trying to make something that people transact with so much you're just trying to make some token that people are holding on to uh, so it sounds like it would be pretty smart to make a token that they say how long how long they're gonna stake it for and if they don't do that then they get punished that sounds like a pretty smart idea <laughs> because then you know like when people are gonna sell and then you can pay them more so you monetize time by if they lock up longer they get more tokens so it so like if you're looking at this from like like it sounds too smart or it sounds too easy that like oh that that's not that can, can that can possibly not work because it sounds because it sounds like you're not really doing anything special uh and in many ways i mean this crypto stuff it's in the token stuff it's not really do, it doesn't have to do anything special right there's only a few things you have to do it seems like when you really consider it a, th a few tweaks you have to do to make the best store of value now if you want to do something else if you want to be the 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 the, 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 the system that people are using when they do some transaction or something like that then that's a whole other story that like that's way more work because then you need distribution you need to make people aware of something you need like some super clever marketing or whatever but when you really start to dive into this this industry and consider that most of it is just mainly speculation and most people just want to make money they don't care about doing some revolution they don't care about you know that they can send some more cash some special token to their friend that's not really why they're in this space they're in here to make money they want to make a lot of money they want to get rich and so if you really so so then it's very interesting if you just look at the game theory of becoming rich like you look at the systems that currently is working in the real world and then you try to simulate that with game theory and with trustlessness and like and, and permissionless systems and you use some blockchain based technology so people can see a lot of things uh, transparent yeah it, it sounds it's very interesting right it's very interesting and and these experiments we're trying to do digital store uh, digital store of value is quite fascinating because we're going to find out quite fast about what works and what doesn't work because it's a it's a young industry and people are doing a lot of experiments and uh, and we're getting new data points all the time uh, like oh this is a failure oh this is more successful and then we can study these closer like why did this project fail and why did this succeed and and it's kind of interesting because it may not just have to do with the code it, it can be a lot of other aspects also that play the play a part like when did you launch a project uh who was uh, the main person sort of doing it and they can they can be so many there's so many factors to coming into play how something plays out uh, so that's what's kind of engaging with this industry that you never really know what's going to work and what's not going to work and that you learn so much from studying both the failures and the successes uh, so 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 digital store of value is probably going to be it's going to be one of these super interesting ones because there are a few different projects that really want to be the number one in that but it seems like one of them is going to have so much better game theory behind that that if that's superior then that's going to eventually the, the value is going to gravitate towards that ecosystem eventually it sort of seems like that would make logical sense and then it's like interesting with uh all these other token based systems 
when people are talking about fast transactions and so on and you wonder if there's really any any value in that because when people have so many alternatives uh, when it comes to doing fast transactions uh, is there really any money in that then I would say that first the, the major thing that probably there is a lot of money is in is probably have the best game theory for a store of value but then what can be a, a lot of money in is other products and services that people want uh, around maybe a product or around something that people are raving fans about some special sort of new brand or i don't know like you can really explore that a lot if you can find some some industries that already maybe exist in the physical world and sort of try to see if you can if you can make an industry around that with some form of token i mean you probably and this is also one of these things that it sounds probably more complicated than what it really is and we can probably find a lot of amazing markets that we never thought would work because we try to sort of overcomplicate a lot of stuff so and what is not really that complicated this so if we can if you can have first digital store of value one of them is probably massive value in, in finding that one uh, but then if you can identify other industries and doesn't have to be just crypto social media as steam blockchain has but there probably is a lot of other strange industries that actually would be able to work great uh, if you can make them if you if you can make people's life more frictionless and easier uh yeah it's fascinating uh but of course in this industry there's a lot of gimmicks there's a lot of hype there's a lot of <laughs> so much hype so much fakeness so much stuff that probably is not going to work out that great um for example we don't really know if someone ever is going to use these so-called prediction markets uh, yeah but yeah it's a fun industry and uh, it's exciting to see what is going on from a day-to-day -day basis and yeah so i wanted to talk a little bit about that so it's very interesting, especially with digital store value, to see who's going to win that race. And it's fascinating to see what game theory is the best, what can actually have value, how is some stuff going to play out. Yeah, it's very cool. Have a great day, DTube and Steam Blockchain.